Hi, welcome to Katie Chats. Today I'm going to be talking about my July favorites, so stay tuned. The first thing I want to talk about is skincare. A beautiful base is the first step to every beauty regimen and beauty routine. The first thing I'm going to talk about is this fantastic cleanser I've been trying out called Angels on Bare Skin by Lush. This is more of a gently exfoliating cleanser. It will not take off your makeup, but it will help your skin a lot. It has lavender in here, lavender oil, as well as rose absolute, blue chamomile oil, lavender flowers, and ground almonds. The almonds are what help exfoliate your skin. The lavender helps to calm your skin, as well as the blue chamomile and the rose. And they also help to even out your skin tone, as well as brighten and even out your skin tone. This, in conjunction with my next favorite, have really been helping me get rid of some stubborn acne scars. If you have a Lush near you, I highly recommend you go in there and try this out. They do give really generous samples. When I heard Lester Lux and Manny MUA both mentioned this last month in their favorites, I decided that I had to try this. I went and I got a sample and it lasted me for a week and a half, well enough to see the results it was giving me and then I went and I got it. Now that I've had it for almost a month, I've definitely been using a lot because I use it twice a day, but it really is worth it. And so this little jar, which I'd say it will probably last me another two weeks, maybe three weeks, this costs $16. So though it's expensive, it is all natural, it has fantastic ingredients in it, and it's made fresh. This was made June 18th, and I think I bought it the last week the last week of June or the first week of July so it's really fresh and so that's the benefit of shopping with Lush. The next product that has been helping me a lot with acne scars is this Luna sleeping night oil. This oil oh it's by Sunday Riley. This oil is absolutely fantastic for getting rid of acne scars. I still have some scars. I dealt with cystic acne and acne all throughout high school. My face had multiple zits every day and I'm not talking two or three I'm talking 10 15 maybe 20 some days it was really rough in high school um, and now I'm starting to see a lot of that scarring coming up on my face but this oil in conjunction with this have really been helping me and I've really seen a huge difference in the evenness of my skin tone and a lot of the acne scars are starting to fade and are more coverable and are easier to cover with makeup and I'm even starting to feel a lot better about not wearing makeup thanks to this oil. This was a sample I got through Sephora through their online site. You know how you put in the promo code? Um, I actually stocked up and I made multiple orders to get a few of these and one little itty bitty bottle lasts me like a month and a half. I wish that they sold them like this. It is a really pricey product but when I do run out, I'm definitely going to have to get the full-size bottle because I don't think I can deal without this anymore. If you have a Sephora near you, definitely try and go get a sample of it. If you deal with scars and stuff like that, um, and try it out and see if it works for you. They also give generous samples. The next thing I'm going to talk about is Becca's new highlighter with Jaclyn Hill from here on YouTube called Champagne Pop. I know everyone's talking about it, but it's for a good reason. This highlighter is absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't tried it out, I highly recommend you try and find a Sephora near you that has it in stock and ask them to swatch it on your face for you. It gives a very beautiful natural glow. You can definitely layer it on like I did today and really get that highlight on fleek look, like Jacqueline likes to say. Or you can also just tone it down and just do a light dusting and it looks fantastic for everyday makeup as well. So this is fantastic. I highly recommend you check it out and tell me what you think. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is Physicians Formula Sexy Booster Cat Eyes Mascara. I got this from doing one of their giveaways that they do on their Instagram. So you should definitely follow them on Instagram or check it out because every couple weeks they have giveaways where... They will send um, mascaras or bronzers or face powders or foundations to 500 to 1,000 people who enter that competition. I've actually gotten four products from there and I've gotten a couple friends to do it with me and they've gotten some products. So it's a great little tip. 
So this is what the wand looks like. I have it on my eyes today. Um, very basic. You would think that this little chubby part in the front would get in the way. I actually like to use that on the outer corner to really put on a lot of product right there and then I'll comb it out with the big bristles. So today I have on like maybe three coats of it. Very dramatic. The fantastic thing about this is that, well, look at the packaging, it's adorable, but it's an all natural mascara. And even though it's all natural, this is actually smudge proof. At the end of the day, I have a hard time getting this off just like I would with Benefit's Roller Lash, which is another one that's hard to get off, which is fantastic because that means at the end of the day, there's no smudging down here. There's no flaking. I have absolutely no issues with it. And if you do invest in this and pick it up at the drugstore, then you can use coconut oil to get it off. What I'll do is I'll take, dip my finger in my coconut oil, put it on my lashes, wait 10 seconds, maybe 15 seconds, and then usually it will wipe away really easily. Um, and also, fun fact, it smells like vanilla. And I have really sensitive eyes, but it doesn't bother me. But it is really fun that in the middle of the day you can go, flutter your lashes and you get a little sniff of vanilla. Kind of a strange thing, but it's cute. I like it. <laughs> the next product I'm going to talk about is Anastasia Beverly Hills brand new Shadow Couture Palette. I am wearing it on my lids today in conjunction with their Artist Palette. I just have one color from this um, palette on the outer corners of my eyes. But the main star of the show today is really Azure. And then I have Morocco and Soft Peach and a little bit of fudge on the crease line to really blend it out. I'm really liking this shadow palette. What I love about it is these three colors right here are life. They're like my favorite tones, my favorite shades to use every day for my eyes. And they really work well with all the other colors in here. You get a fantastic black. It's a lot darker than the black and the Artist Couture palette, and then you get some fantastic highlighting shades. Metallic is a beautiful gold. Look, it's perfect. You get this beautiful pink champagne color. Oh, look how metallic that is. It's just so gorgeous. And then I also love this Bellini color. Even though it looks really peach in here, and it is very peach, it also works really well as an inner corner highlight or smacked all over the lid. My favorite look to do with this that I've been doing is fudge and Morocco in the crease, soft peach to blend it all out and up to the brow bone. And then I'll put either Bellini or um, intense glaze on um, like all over the lid with a teeny bit of, yeah, noir in the outer V just to darken things up. Fantastic palette, only $30, available at Macy's, Sephora, and Ulta. Highly recommend you check this out. The last thing I'm going to talk about is my favorite lipsticks for the month, my favorite lippies. My first favorite and the one I've probably worn the most this month and that's on my lips today is Serenity, which is another collaboration product. It's with Gerard Cosmetics and Manny MUA from here on YouTube. And again, this color is called Serenity. He named it afterwards Usagi from Sailor Moon. So if you are a 90s kid and you love Sailor Moon, this is a fantastic product to support and it's so fun to have a lipstick that's named after Sailor Moon. She's my favorite princess. Anyway, so this is a fantastic, as you can see, nudie peach kind of color. It looks really great on a lot of different skin tones. I've seen it on Instagram on a ton of different people. He's constantly reposting pictures of different people wearing it. I highly recommend you check this out. I absolutely love this formula. My next favorite is Sarah Fine from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. This is from their new fall collection. I also have it swatched right here, this red color. It's a wonderful brick red, very similar to Heather's, but toned down. Heather's is really dark. It has a lot more brown in it, but this has just a touch of brown, and it's the perfect red that you can make it a date night red but I've also worn it during the day with just mascara and it looks fantastic. It's really a beautiful color. I highly recommend you check it out. And then the next three that I have swatched right next to that are some ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippies. Very different from the previous two formulas I mentioned before. This formula is a lot thinner and it's a lot more drying, but it also lasts a lot longer. 
Um, so my favorite colors right now are Solo, Bumble, and Tool. And so let me show you those swatches. Let's see. So there's Serenity, there's Seraphine. This is another color that's very similar to this one. It's called Dreamy. And then here are the color pop lippies I mentioned. Solo, Bumble, and Tool. And this over here, as you can see, Tool is very similar to this one. This is Trust Issues by Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can see it's just a teeny bit more purple than Tool. So if you have Tool, just so you know, they're kind of similar. And I love the ColourPop ones. They last a long time. They're more liquidy than the other two. The other two are more moussey. And then my last favorite is this Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipstick in Clay Crush. This is the perfect everyday color. I've been going between Serenity, which I have on my lips right now, and Clay Crush every day. So this is a fantastic matte. It gives you the matte look, but it's so creamy and it won't dry out your lips like a liquid lipstick will. So this is a fantastic drugstore option. I think these are only $6 at like CVS, Alta, Walgreens, Walmart, everything like that. And this is the new group that they released a couple months ago. All right, so that's everything that I have today. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know any favorites that you've had this month that I should check out. And be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.